three exercises for your upper pecs or upper chest. Um, so I'm gonna go through each one individually, show you kind of the do's and don'ts, but let's get into the first one. The first one is gonna be a low cable uh, fly, but on the upward motion. So instead of being exactly like in between, you wanna take like one, one foot step forward. So you have that stretch right across the chest. You're gonna do the underhand grip. And you're bringing it up. Again, pinkies together. I only come up to about like chin level because you're only guy coming up to that flex. Anything beyond that, you're gonna be using for your front delt. So when I come down, I like to kind of like pop my chest up, to get that full, full stretch. And then keep everything up there. Like you're almost trying to push your chest to the ceiling as you're doing this. Push it up go up even farther as the hands come up. The common mistakes are obviously people try to go way too heavy and then they start bending over like this and it's more like a bicep curl they're doing one of these and really no chest is being activated or what they do is they go up too far and it's all front delt. So they're doing way up here and it's more like a front delt raise. So set some reps on this one. You're going to be looking at uh, anywhere from three to four. You can actually start your exercise with this to kind of get the, get it warmed up and then move on to your chest, day, like your whole chest day. Um, reps. I'm a big one for a higher rep range when it comes to flies. So anywhere from 12 to 15 or 15 to failure once you get warmed up um, will be my recommendation. So first set, you're just kind of a feeder set, get the weight. Uh, feel it out so you can get to 15, no problem. And then moving on from there, you're just going to absolute failure. Trying to get as much blood in there as you can as you're progressing into your workout. So now I'm gonna move into uh, dumbbell incline fly. Um, so for this one, I'm gonna show you guys the three stage fly that I showed you in the cable crossover. Um, the reason I'm doing it here is because it really emphasizes the stretch in the upper pack. So it lets people feel where they're emphasizing that stretch at the uh, the down, like all the way at the stretch point, so they can really feel where the tension's being applied. Um, because if you just kind of go through it, a lot of people aren't really taking the time to notice where the stretch is. They're just feeling stretch and then going with it. So doing the three stage and actually pausing at the stretch, you're really gonna start to feel that upper pec engage. So. So if you come up, you're gonna come down into a stretch and you're gonna open up from there only until you feel a stretch in your chest, in the upper pec, and not in the shoulder. And then you're gonna come up and close. So down in a neutral press, open, close. Down, open, close. And realistically, once you get into there and you start to know, okay, that's exactly where I should be, you can go into a normal fly. Because you'll know where that stretch point is and you'll hit it every single time. So it's almost like priming the muscle as you're getting into your fly. But if people have been struggling with it, just do the three stage. So down, open, close. And notice I'm going really slow with this. I'm not speeding my way through. So common mistakes, with, especially with the three stage, they just come down, bounce it, open, fly. Like they're just speeding their way through. The whole point of this three stage is to be slow. So down to the stretch, feel it. Open to the stretch, feel it. And now flex and hold for like a second. Down, stretch, open, stretch, close, flex. So if you're doing a normal one, it's slow and controlled like everything else. Open, close, slow to open, feel the stretch, close, slow, close. So sets and reps for that. Again, you're gonna do three to four sets. Um, it is another fly, so I'm gonna 
recommend doing the high rep range, so like 12 to 15 or 15 to failure, whatever you so choose. Um, I prefer going to failure once I'm warmed up. So where I already warmed up in the, uh, the cable fly, um, I would do this three sets to failure. So then you'll be moving on to your presses from there. So now we're gonna move on to dumbbell press. So you can do a barbell press, a Smith press, uh, but it's gotta be incline. So um, today I'm just gonna show you the dumbbell. So the big emphasis is the stretch. So I always come down to the stretch point so you feel that stretch right across the chest and press. Press. Everyone's biggest mistake is they do like a, I even seen the angle in the dumbbells like this and like bringing the dumbbells down to the shoulder. You gotta open yourself up, open. Like I'm, my arms are pretty much at 90 degrees right now. I feel that stretch right across my chest and press. Press. So if I'm thinking bar coming down, the bar is gonna be hitting me in the upper part of my chest, not down my rib cage. You're, you're working on the upper part of your pack, so the upper chest. So you wanna keep it in that area. Tempo, slow, slow, slow on the way down. You can explode up, but don't just let it drop. So catch it, flex, slow on the way down. Explode, slow. Explode, slow. So when a lot of people do this, they overextend their shoulder. So when they do this, it's overextend. And then you see my shoulder blades already came out and it's hard to get it back in there. So stuff like that, you gotta always remember that it's only up until you feel that flex and then nice and slow on the way down. So sets and reps, you're gonna be going, excuse me, you're gonna be going uh, three to four sets. It's many how heavy you wanna do, so in between eight and 12, realistically is the, uh, is the, like, the goal that you're hitting. Um, obviously, as you progress in weight, your reps will diminish. So you can start with a weight that's like 10 to 12, once you get warmed up, then you get into the sets of eight to 10 or just eight. So, so that would be the, um, the primary goal with this one is just going heavy and pushing yourself beyond that limit, but keeping that tempo, keeping that pace and uh, keeping form proper. So those are the big things that you gotta always remember when you're doing any sort of press is not overextension because that brings your shoulder blade off and then all of a sudden the pressure's off your chest and moves to your shoulder. So those are your three exercises to help with your upper pec. Use them, utilize them.